Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. But uh, to your question, I've been here for five days now, before the election, two days before the election, during elections yesterday, I observed when witnessed the rallies before, especially for the president in Njiri, the day, two days before, and then today after voting, I've gone back to Njiri to to see those polling stations, the situation. First, I want to commend the DRC Congo for holding this election. I think it's the second or third democratic election you are, you are having in Congo. Just that aspect that you've been able to hold the election is commendable in Africa, given that there are many countries in Africa where there is no democracy, um, and given the past also. So I, I commend you. And also democracy is not cheap. Um, I note, I read in the newspaper that close to one billion dollars, 800 million US dollars was spent uh, on election. Yes, democracy is not cheap. It's important that people exercise their choice. Uh, Congo DR is a very important country in Africa. I think God deliberately put it in the center of Africa to show that it is the hub, it's the nucleus from there all countries are supposed actually to benefit. Congo is about the most richest underground. God endowed you or gave Congo. You didn't give them to other countries. Gave Congo copper underground, gold, diamond, cotton. Uh, Congolese people, you were born and you found God had given you that. So it's unique. You are over 100 million and it's a world wide big country. So now that an election is organized it's commendable um, what I observed the day before democracy was at play people were able I saw billboards of all participants of president at presidential level I saw rallies uh, people were free to campaign I saw with my own eyes and then what is impressive also before election there was no violence no one was removing anyone's posters i saw posters of the ruling government fatih uh, and uh, of the opposition the billboards wherever no one was touching them i've been to countries where the billboards are removed posters torn everyone was walking by and it was pre-election peaceful. On the actual day also, despite the uh, shortcoming in some places, it's well documented, the voting started late, uh, an hour, two to four hours, and much more in some places. Um, uh, obviously, because of the logistical uh, issues, and um, uh, but what is important is towards midday, we, I noticed that the voting started. We witnessed one polling station from the beginning when they began, and then your system also is impressive. It's dual system, so you have people voting on the computer, uh, but then it doesn't end there. The computer print out who they have voted for, for president, for deputy and others the sheet comes out and it's put in the box so later on when it closes you can reconcile the records in the computer and the actual paperwork uh, so the whole day it went on uh, towards the end you could see lines getting up people were uh, eager to vote they want to be heard in other countries they just sit they don't come uh, but people wanted to be heard and wanted to vote and we know voting was extended into the night uh, which is good everyone was given an opportunity 
to vote and I did not see anyone beaten. The security was outside, uh, but there was no problem anywhere. So people were able to enter and participate as they wish. Yeah, that is maybe um, the, the key questions about the human rights abuse or human rights violation. As an observer, have you uh, got to recall some of the things related to the human rights abuse? No, with my own eyes, there was no such incident. It's impressive. Everyone was walking by freely and uh, no one was being interrogated. No one was beaten at least in uh, Kinshasa we have been observing. So no human rights were well respected. Everyone was freely walking in and choosing as they pleased. Um, now after today I went back uh, the polling station in Njiri it's calm, they have counted the votes and they've put the votes outside each polling station. So you can go and see president who's got how many votes. You can see for uh, deputy, you can see for others. So the release of votes is not is made public at the entrance, which is also commendable. And now what remains is for the electoral commission to compile. Uh, as an outsider, we don't know the, the results and the result is not in, uh, we are not it's a call for the Congolese people to decide who they want to be their president who they choose and we can only observe how the process went and from my uh, eye own eyes as a member of the pan africa parliament as an elected member of the african parliament and also the parliament of zambia i've witnessed many elections in africa what i witnessed went on calmly where i was here in kinshasa and I commend the organizers, I commend the people of Congo uh, that I observed yesterday. They were calm and exercised their right to vote. And based on your own experience, uh, the past experience, so you have a particular reading on uh, the fact that the, the Electoral Commission has extended uh, the vote for electors. Well, um, first of all, one would need to go uh, in, in the... What's important is everyone you should not be disfranchised. Disfranchised is you are stopped from exercising your vote. Um, so uh, there should be no reason to stop anyone from exercising their vote. Um, so... Uh, if for some logistical uh, reasons as we saw the ballot in some places were delayed first this is Africa and where we are coming from uh, Africa is just recovering from the colonial masters that did not leave us infrastructure uh, so it's not easy to move logistics so if elections started a bit late uh, people did not start voting on time it only made sense that it's extended from 5 p.m. because originally it should have closed uh, at 5 p.m. So when we were told uh, at one that it would extend until everyone was there voted, uh, it means they were being given a chance to exercise their human right to express themselves, who they want to, to lead them. And also allow me to say, it shows that Africa, we can lead ourselves, we can organize our own elections, we don't need the Americans, we, to, we don't need the Europeans, uh, the people from Asia to come and conduct elections for us. And Congo doesn't need the Africa Union or pan Africa Parliament or SADC. You conduct them yourselves and we just observe us. We're not even monitors. And we can only say what we uh, uh, experience. So the fact that Congo now is able to uh, is very good news for Africa. Yeah, maybe uh, the last question is about your your recommendation as a chairman, because the human being activity is no longer perfect. Maybe you have been observing some shortcomings or some weakness in the organization of the, those ongoing on elections. Do you have a particular recommendation to the Congolese to improve maybe uh, for the incoming uh, organization of the election? Well, not really. I can only observe the good thing and just that uh, Congo 
Congo uh, Viva Congo continue exercising the right uh, like other countries have been doing and also Congo is part of SADC uh, what is important in SADC and Central Africa and like what is happening in other parts of Africa like in West Africa we know there's a lot of unconventional and constitutional change of government uh, but here in Congo you say no to that and you exercise your vote everybody goes there and uh, and, and votes uh, it's only an encouragement to Congo is that uh, continue exercising your rights and the people to speak and also to unite to respect who, who supports a particular candidate uh, not to fight you you fight with words of ideas uh, you believe in this kind of management and uh, then at the end of the day the final res detail is in the ballot there when you press on the computer so it's just a, a, a recommendation and uh, and uh, I would like to be positive about the election and not pick a negative I like to be optimistic and objective so I want to congratulate Congo and may the best candidate according to the Congolese people how they spoke in the vote win the election thank you very much dear chairman Miles Samba for your time thank you thank you God bless Congo thank you Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.